Gamer Braves. Hey you guys, it's Jay from Gamer Braves. Today I'll be introducing a game that I find it quite interesting and that's Code Wayne. It's a game developed by Shiv, the team behind God Eater, which is one of Bandai Namco Entertainment's most popular game. So, what's so special about the game is it has a playstyle very much like a Souls game, but visually, the characters look like they are from God Eater. In short, it's an anime Dark Souls like ARPG. The story of the game takes place in the not so distant future, where a mysterious disaster has brought calamity onto the world. Amidst the destruction lies a hidden society of revenants known as Wayne. And these people are basically vampires blessed with gifts. As a Wayne or Varenon, they hold great regeneration abilities and destructive power. But in return for losing their memories and thirst for blood, when one is overtaken by bloodlust, they risk becoming a lost goose devoid from humanity. Oh right, players will be taking on the role as one of the Wayne as you wake up with no memories but a hot bait beside at the beginning. For the parts that reminds me of Souls game, there will be like how players can deal weak, heavy damage, dodge attack and parry enemies. Aside from that, there's also a stamina bar which limits the action of the players. While there's a stamina bar in the game, there's also another bar worth noticing and that's the focus gauge. When the gauge meter is filled, it will enable players to enter a focus state where they are harder to stagger and capable of easily stagger enemies. That's not all, because you also gain an ability to knock enemies up into the air and drain attack them. But keep in mind that enemies too can enter that state. Besides that, the game mechanic in Code Win is way complicated than Souls game because players can equip 10 gifts onto their controls. Yes, you heard that right. 10 skills in the palm of your hand ready to be cast at any moment, though there are limitations to it. Although Code Win is similar to Dark Souls, there are still some dissimilarities to it. For instance, while in combat, players can change their job or known as Blood Code in the game on the spot. There are plenty of Blood Code in the game, but so far, we were able to make use of 3 classes in the demo. And that's Fighter, which uses Blade in close combat, Ranger, which uses ranged weapon and deal damage from afar, and Caster, which allows you to use magic spells. Each Blood Code differs greatly from one another and will also affect the weapons that the players have. Like if you're a ranger, then you have to equip light weapons such as a bayonet to utilize both the classes and weapons. Other than the weapons, Code Wind has equipment called Blood Wheels. And when equipped, it will give stats to players and will also influence how their parry works. Like how it will change the counter attacks and patterns of it. Like God Eater, NPC will be accompanying players throughout the battlefield and the NPC in Code Wind is very useful as they are rather strong and their enemy alertness is high as well. But that doesn't mean it will make things easier because whenever you finish your own regen charge, your NPC will sacrifice their own, replenishing your HP back and this will put the NPCs in a tough spot where they could die easily. So not depending too much on the NPC is a good thing. Overall, Code Wayne is a pretty cool and assorted game as it combines Souls game and God Eater. It's quite hot and very suitable to those who love to challenge themselves. So, if you're a fan of God Eater, you don't want to miss out on this, right? It will be coming out somewhere around this year on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. This is Jay, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you like our content, do like and follow our page. Also, select C first to get the latest game news and updates. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and select on the notify button to get notified to our latest gameplay trailers. Don't miss out!